Hey guys, so today's tutorial is going to be on the Rihanna Pour It Up video. It's really inspired, so I'm trying to use products that I know everyone can get their hands on. So for starters, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Mineral Veal Primer, and that's going to go all over my face as a primer. To fill in my pores, I'm going to be using Benefits, the Pore Professional. It really does a great job of filling in those large pores if you guys have any of those. To go ahead and prime my eyes, I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance. For foundation, I'm going to use Makeup Forever's Face and Body Foundation. This is in the color number 46. The focal point for this look was her brows, and I'm going to be using Sugar Pills Dolly Pop Eyeshadow. Grabbing my Sigma E65 and some Fix Plus, I'm going to be filling in my brows with the Sugar Pill Dolly Pop Eyeshadow. Taking a clean, fluffy type of angled brush, I'm going to be pressing Sugar Pills Dolly Pop over the first layer of color that I placed down when I used the Sigma E65. So basically we're building up this color to further conceal the brows. Reaching for my Urban Decay Naked One palette. The first color I'm going to take is Sin from this palette using my MAC 242 brush. This color is going to go all over the lid area. Sigma E40 blending brush and the color Buck from my Naked One palette. I'm just going to sweep this color into my crease area very lightly. Next up, I'm grabbing Max Carbon Eyeshadow and the Sigma E30 pencil brush, and I'm just going to place this color in my crease area and bring it a little bit forward. Um, I'm also going to drag it down a little bit across my lower lash line. Now, Rihanna did not do this in her poured up video, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. That's why it's an inspired video. Um, so yeah, you don't have to bring it down if you don't want to. I'm going to go ahead and grab Crete from my Naked One palette as well using the same Sigma E30 pencil brush. And I'm just going to place it on the outer tail end of that V I just created with MAC Carbon. <laughs> To make sure everything is blended, I'm using my Sigma E25 blending brush. And for a really bright highlight, I grab the Virgin color from my Naked One palette as well. I'm just blending that out with a fluffy brush. For my Sigma E 30 pencil brush again, I'm just using carbon and dragging it down on the lower lash line area and I'm also going to take the color Sin and place it in the inner section of my lower lash line area as well. The Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer is going to be my highlight today. Set that using the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder in Dark. For a highlight today, I'm using Benefit Sunbeam Highlighter, and I'm just going to drag this down the center of my nose. I'm going to put a little bit of it on my cupid's bow and my chin and my forehead. For 
contouring today, I use Max Blunt Blush with my Mac 109 blush brush. Diana had a small flush of pink on the cheek, so I'm using Max Ripe for Love blush with my Mac 159 brush. For a more defined highlighter, I'm going to use Max in Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Definition on the top parts of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, foreheads, everywhere that I highlight earlier with the Benefit Sunbeam. For liner, I used the Sigma E65 liner brush and Maybelline's Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black. For mascara, I'm using Maybelline's The Falsies Big Eyes Mascara for my top lashes and my bottom lashes. My lashes of choice for this look are the Ardell Wispies. And for the lips, I use the Glam Lipstick Aqualux by NYX in Razzle Dazzle. So to make sure everything has been blended, I'm just going back in with my Sigma E25 blending brush. It's a clean brush, so that's fine. But this is the completed look, you guys. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing if you have. Bye-bye.